The following interview is with Amy. She's 23. Six months ago, she was the victim of a sexual assault. Amy, if, if you'd like to smoke or, or move around while we're talking, please feel free to do so. I want you to be comfortable. I'm okay, but thanks. Good. Then why don't you just start talking and I'll come in with questions from time to time. Um, where would you like me to start? Wherever you feel like. I had to work overtime that night, but it wasn't too late when I finally got off. Had you ever thought about the possibility of being sexually assaulted? I guess. I suppose it's something of a natural fear for most women. I also think that sometimes, somewhere, we're all vulnerable to rape. You try to be careful, but, well, you just can't stop living either. You never know when you're going to make a move that attracts his attention. having to go back over this part. Shall we take a break for a few minutes? No. I'd rather go on with it. It was even more terrifying because I had no warning of what was coming. Suddenly his hand was over my mouth and nose. My first instinct was to try and bite, but his pressure was so heavy, I, I couldn't get my mouth open. And every time I'd try to struggle, he'd cut my breath off. Did he threaten you with a weapon? Just himself. He was very strong. He hit me several times, really hard. And he told me if I kept my mouth shut and did as he said, I wouldn't get hurt. Well, he obviously did not care how much he hurt me, as long as he got what he wanted. So you did as you were told? At that point, it was my only choice. I wasn't even thinking about rape anymore. That was a fact. It was happening. My mind had skipped on to the afterwards part. I was so scared he wouldn't keep his promise. I was just sure he would kill me. I tried to think of something I could say or do that would stop him, but all I kept hearing was this voice yelling, he's gonna give you the whole ticket, Amy. You're going all the way. Oh, I could see it so clear. Thankfully, he did nothing more. No, he just pulled himself together and left. Well, naturally, he warned me that I better not have any bright ideas about calling the police right away. But that's all. He just left. Can you recall how you first felt after he left you? Happiness. That was my first reaction. No kidding. I mean, realizing you're alive when you were so close to the other. Well, you just can't feel any other way. Of course, that only lasts for about 30 seconds. Then comes the bad part. 
you start to remember.